Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we will look at framing your renders in Dash Studio to improve the composition and balance of the images. Let's get to it! Right, so here we are in Dash Studio. I've got my scene here already here. And today obviously we're looking at framing and composition. And the reason why we're looking at framing and composition is so that the you can balance out your images. So that's the reason why we're looking at framing and composition. I've seen a lot of images. I used to do this when I first started. I used to have a lot of images and the actual kind of balance of the actual image, it wasn't that very good. If you're into photography, you would know this about the rule of thirds and the other rule of thirds to balance your images. And I'm guilty of this. I'll show you some some photos, um, some renders that I've done that um, I'm very guilty of where I've just rendered it for the sake of rendering without thinking about the composition. And that's something you should really think about before you actually render your images. So in this case, I've got I've got my uh, scene here with my character. And if we go up here, if we click on this option here, we've got a top option here for show thirds guide. So if we click on that, we get this lovely thirds guide. So what this does is splits it into nine different sections. So what we're essentially trying to do is our focal point is here, is this bit here. These are our one, two, three, four focal points. So ideally, we will want our character in this case to be right in line with one of these lines here, this line here or this line here. So ideally for it to be balanced as a composition, as an image, as a render, I need to essentially move my character across, which I'll do now. So I'm moving it across, moving it across, there we go. And as you know, we are, as humans, we are always looking at the face. So if there's any kind of, uh, you've got a character in there. We, our eyes will immediately go straight to the face here. So ideally you want it here. Now these guides, these rules, uh, the thirds guide rule, it's just a guideline. You don't have to follow it. You can break the rules because sometimes you break the rules and get away with things. Uh, but in this case, I suggest you start off with a thirds guide and then you can start breaking rules. So there it is. It's all set there. And if I rendered it now, it would probably look a lot better than it did before. Yeah, so that's what you can do in Dash Studio. Um, there is an extra add-on you can do. So if I go to my internet here, I'll show you. There's a site here uh, on the DAS 3D forum website. Uh, Jade Rail has created a golden rules of composition version 1.5. And what this does, it gives you more options. Um, so I highly recommend you download this and install it. It's very easy to install. It goes straight into your My Library, uh, your content library folder on your C drive. Um, very simple to install. And uh, what it does, it gives you more options. So we'll go through that right now. So if I go to, it's free by the way as well. So it's really good idea to get this. I'll put a link in the description box below and make sure you download it and install it. It's a great, uh, great tool. So thank you very much for that. Helping the Dash community, Jadriel. Thank you very much for that indeed. And so if I go back to my Dash studio, I'm going to just turn this off. Uh, I don't want the third guide done. So turn it off. And I've already installed it here. So it's, I've made extra, um, folders here, content library folders that I made. So it's going to be in cameras and you got golden rules. Now for it to work, for this to work, you've got to make sure you select the camera first. So select camera one, which is the camera we're at. When I double click this, you'll see the thirds guide. Now, since we've already got the thirds guide that, are, that is already included in Dash Studio, we don't really need this thirds guide. Um, so I'm just going to click here and make sure you click on the golden rule because we're going to apply our mat, our materials to this uh, guide here, to this uh, um, object here. So if I go to my rules mats here, my rules mats folder, we've got different ones. So we've got rules here, there are different guides, so I can put that on. And what we need to do now, for example, say if I wanted this one, I need to stretch it to fit this frame here. So to fit the frame, you use the um, X scale and the Y, uh, sorry, the X scale and the Z scale. So if I just increase that. So I'm literally gonna go right to the end here. There we go, and with the Z. There we go. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be like bang on perfect, but as long as it's close enough, it doesn't matter. So there we go. So now if I'm using this as my guide, as my guideline, it's telling me that my eye line is gonna go down here, up here, across and over here. So essentially, I need to probably move my character a bit more to the left. So because I'm using this as my guide, as my framing. So I'll move it across a bit more. Oh, make sure you select the character. Don't just do what I did there. <laughs> come across. There we go. And actually probably come down a bit. So we're kind of there. So that's like my focal point 
that's where I want people to look really. When they when I render the image, that's where I want people to look. That's where the attention should be, and that's how we do. It. So you're probably thinking, well, what if I had something here at the bottom right? How do I move it there? So we go back to our golden rule here, our golden rule object, and you can go to the actual rules presets, and you can flip it here. So we can flip it, flip it there. We can flip it across, and obviously you'll need to change the uh, scale to fit it. Uh, I could turn it right there. So I need to change my scales. So run by X scale, just bring it down. And then Z scale to stretch it across. And there we go. So this tool is very, very useful. I suggest you use it. Um, it's a great way to frame your images and frame your renders before you actually do the renders. Uh, one, one tip is uh, before you actually render it, make sure you turn it off. Otherwise it will be rendered with it. So don't forget to or uh, turn off this object, otherwise that framing uh, guide will be uh, rendered as well. And that's it really, that's all there is to it. It's not very difficult to understand, it's just a case of what is your focal point, use your framing, use your guides to point your person looking at the image, hey I want you to look over here, I don't want you to look over there, so therefore frame your character here so you can balance out your scene. And that's it really, it's not very difficult, it's something very simple to do. Uh, but it will really, really add value to your images and renders. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Photoshop and I'm going to have a look at some of the images that were sent to me uh, to be featured in this. So we're going to go through some of them as well. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. And here's our first image. This was sent in by Richard. So Richard, thank you for sending this in. And we're going to have a look and see if we can probably improve the composition, balance it out a bit more. It's going to be quite difficult, but we can have a go anyway. So I'm going to use my crop tool, C. And in my crop tool here in Photoshop, I've got options here for rule of thirds. So when I click on here, I can see my rule of thirds and the grid and the diagonal, triangle, golden ratio and the golden spiral. Now it's really up to you what you think the focal point is and how you can improve it. Uh, as you can see, these are quite centered. As soon as I look at the image, my eyes go straight here, straight to the straight to the face here. So I would say that is the focal point. I don't know, Richard, if that is, was supposed to be your intention or was it the dragon here? But my eyes go straight to here because obviously we're naturally drawn to a face with eyes. So if that's my focal point, I want to kind of maybe change the framing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the rule of thirds. So I want my character to fall in line with this line here. So I'm going to crop it in here and possibly even bring it up a bit, something like that. So we click tick. And how does that look? Does that look better to you? I think it looks better. We don't always need to show uh, the whole features of a character, for example, the legs, the feet uh, and everything like that, uh, because our focal point is here. So this may be an improvement, this may not be a improvement. Obviously it's subjective, art is subjective. You might think, well, actually there's not an improvement there. So it's very, very subjective how you want to do it. So I suggest you have a look at it. If you've got Photoshop or maybe GIMP or whatever uh, program you use to do your post work, have a look at there. There must be a tool in there where you can actually do the framing afterwards if you want to check the framing. So have a go at that. So that's what I would suggest for that one, Richard. But anyway, it's a very, very good image. Uh, the next image is from Jay. This is one of the images that Jay created in one of my advanced tutorials. It's uh, for the atmospheric lighting, so the kind of god rays coming out here. So this is really good. Now with this image, I found out when I did the uh, rule of thirds that I would do here, it's actually bang on point. I don't really need to change anything because even though my face, uh, my eyes, sorry, go here to that face because I'm looking at that face, this is actually very well balanced. Because even if I use, for example, if I was being very nitpicking, uh, a little bit of nitpicking, if I did the golden spiral one, for example, and I just change the, change my focal here, it's actually not far off. So if I was nitpicking uh, Jay a little bit, I would probably say, move that up there, move that up a bit here, and probably move that across a bit there, and then do a tick there, and that's it. So that's, that's just me being nitpicking, but that actually is a very, very good, very, very well proportioned uh, image, very well framed indeed, very, very good. I like that one indeed. So well done, Jay, for that. 
Uh, the next one is here by Mock Zone. Now this is what I see a lot in uh, images on, I mean I'm guilty of it as well, I'll show you some of mine in a bit as well, where we just kind of put our character right in the middle and we're not really thinking about composition and framing. Um, so I'm assuming that my eyes go straight here to the eyes of face here. Maybe the camel is the focal point of this image, I don't know. So in this case, I would probably use the rule of thirds. And I would actually see, we've got a horizon here. See the horizon here? So I would try to line up this line with the horizon. So I would move it up and kind of line it up there. So that's fairly lined up. And then I would probably think, right, I've got to move this across now to balance it out. So actually I want this, I want this line to be in front in line with this uh, figure here, with this person. So I'm going to move it across a bit and then tick it there. So now I think we've got a much more balanced image here because we before we had, if we go back to the tool, the crop tool again, we had all this extra space here, kind of all this extra space, and it wasn't very well balanced. I don't know, Mark, if you think that's true or not, but this looks like a more balanced photo. We haven't got loads of like uh, background here or anything. So it's a much more balanced photo. My eyes are naturally gonna go straight to here, to the face. And um, we've got the lovely camel here as well. So thank you very much for sending that in, Mark. Uh, another one that I liked about Mock is this radioactivity one. I just wanted to have a go with this one here. So with this one, there's lots going on here. So there's different ways I can do this one, actually. Uh, I can obviously go to, we go back to rule of thirds. Um, we've got a horizon here. So we've got a horizon here. So what I can do again is just push that up. And obviously this all depends on what your focal point is and what you want to frame. So I've got my horizon there and I want this line here to actually fall on this character here. So I'm going to move that across and let's see how that looks. So although we've lost the legs a bit, this is probably a bit more balanced. We've got a bit of room here at the top. Uh, what else we could do with this is if I go back to the original. So if I say no, I don't want that. Oh. So if I bring that back out again. And if I went to, for example, the golden spiral. So with the golden spiral, it's telling me that my eye line is going to go down here, across here, over here, up here, and around here. So that's probably one I would use. So I would go across here. And I want to try and line that focal point up with the face there. And there we go. There we go. So actually, in this case, the golden spiral uh, framing works a lot better than the actual third eye because, as you can see, it's, we haven't got the extra, we haven't got the extra bit here, which we don't really need, and we've lost a bit of the sky, but we don't really need all the sky. So I think this actually makes it look a lot better, much more balanced photo. So thank you very much for sending that. So on to my next one here. This is one that I did, obviously. So if I do the same with mine here, if I did rule of thirds, if you have a look, this character is actually not in center with that. So I should really move that across here and possibly move it up a bit more. So our eyes, our line, our, these eyes here, uh, this line, sorry, here um, lines up with the eyes. That's probably a bit more balanced, better photo. Um, I could probably use the uh, golden spiral as well. So we can have a go with that. Golden spiral. So here it is already set up. Move it across. Come down a bit. And there we go. So you can see it's a much more balanced photo. We've got our character looking to the right. So we've got a bit of space here. And that looks a much more balanced photo. Now I'm guilty of this. I'll show you this. I'm guilty of this. So this is like a your kind of portrait picture, what do you do with this? Well, it's really subjective what you want to do. So in this case, the rule of thirds, if I applied the rule of thirds to this, I would probably say, right, my eye line, the eye line, these eyes here need to go in line with this. So that means dragging this down and probably putting it in. So I want my eyes to actually fall on these intersections here. I mean, there's no right way or wrong way to do this. Sometimes this might improve your uh, composition sometimes it may not but it's worth having a go 
there we go is that improvement i don't know maybe it is uh, we've lost a bit of a head there we're not supposed to actually lose a bit of the head there but that's just the way it is okay so that's our framing composition guide done there make sure you download the golden rules of composition install that into your content library for dash studio and have a go play with it it will definitely improve your images it will definitely make them more balanced and comp uh, composition wise um, improve your composition as well and your framing and don't forget to check out these artists works well so don't forget to check out richards here this one here he's got a, uh, i'll put a link in the description for his as well uh, for his deviant art web page make sure you have a look and um, we've got here jay's as well make sure you have a look at jay's uh, deviant art web page as well lots of great images here and more here has got some very very good images have a look uh, at your fellow artists we can all learn something i mean even here i'm learning loads from this picture as well it's really cool last week's video with the camera uh, camera settings and the bokeh uh, settings as well i found someone here who's done it so this uh from deviantart i can't i don't so mispronounce your name ebrew cash ebrew crash sorry if i miss miss uh miss said your name there uh, but here we go. So someone's actually followed one of my tutorials. Thank you very much for following my tutorials. So they've added more tension to the image here. They've done the bokeh effects as well. And really, really cool effect here. We're using a HDRI. Very, very cool. And I like this. So this is really, really cool. So I would love to see more images like this. If you've used any of my uh, tutorials to create any art, you know, send it in to me. Let me know. I would love to feature them because I want to show everybody like, look, this is what you can do. You know, do the tutorials, have a go, learn. And we're all learning from each other. And we're doing, you know, really, really cool stuff as well like this. And we're all learning. And, you know, this is a really cool image as well with the effect here. I love this effect here. It's really, really cool. And the bulkhead effect, she's gone for the... Uh, uh, gone for the lovely triangle effects, so that was really cool as well. I like these uh, triangle effects with the bokeh effects. So don't forget to check out the uh, work here by this artist as well. I'll, you, I'll put the link in the description box below as well for that. Okay, so a lot of great information there in that video to frame your renders in Dash Studio and prove the composition and balance. Make sure you use those free tools as well. Make sure you check out the artwork of all the people that have submitted to be featured. And in next week's video, we'll be looking at shader presets. And while you wait for that video, check out these videos here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you in that next video.